In this video, I'm going to show you how to create infinite text slide animation inside the Figma that we can change the text and the background color easily using the variable. My name is Kia and here is Akimo. Welcome back to my channel. start by making a new frame. I'm going to select the desktop option from the Figma preset panel. Now I'm going to pick the text tool and then write down a placeholder inside my frame. I set the text alignment to the left and then apply the auto layout and this layer. Now I'm going to add the background color to this frame. I'm going to choose something dark like a dark gray or a black. And of course in the next step I'm going to change the color of the text to white. Okay this is going to be the text element that I would like to animate using the prototyping features that we have in the Figma. But for now I'm going to work a bit more and the look and feel of the page that I would like to position this element inside it. I'm going to add the navigation menu on top and then add some headline and the paragraph text into it. And then I'm going to set some background image. And in order to increase the readability of the text, I'm going to add some gradient overlay on top of the image. Okay, now my design is ready and it's time to work and the animation itself. But before we go further with this process, I would like to ask you to take your time and like this video and subscribe to my channel and share your opinion and feedback in the comment section. Now let's continue. Okay, in this step, I need to make a new variable. I'm going to open the local variables panel and then click on the create variable. I'm going to click on the string as a type of the variable that I would like to have. Then I'm going to rename the variable to text-slider. The initial value for this variable at this very moment it doesn't matter, but eventually this value is going to be the text that we would like to have in the animation. Now I'm going to select the text layer that we have inside our design and then connect it to the variable that we made. The only thing I need to do is to just select the text and then click on this icon here in the text properties panel and then select the variable that we would like to connect to this text field. Now I'm going to duplicate this frame and for this new frame I'm going to set the auto layout alignment to the right. This will move the text that we had to the right side. Let's select these two frames and then convert them to the component set. Now we have one property in this component. I rename it to the type and then set the value for this property for the first variant of this component to the start and for the next variant to the end. Now let's open the prototyping panel and then select the first variant of this component and connect it to the second one. I'm going to set the trigger of this interaction to after delay and then the duration of the delay to zero or one millisecond and the transition or animation type to smart animate. I'm going to set the duration time for this animation something between five seconds to 10 seconds. This number is defining the speed of my animation later on. Now let's select the second variant and then connect it to the first one. I'm going to set the trigger of this new interaction again on after delay. The delay duration is going to be zero or one millisecond again. But here, instead of having smart animate as the animation type or transition type, I'm going to set it on the instant. We create this interaction in order to have a loop animation later on. So when the text starts from left and it reaches to the right side, it will start again from the beginning. And we have this infinite loop. Let's open the asset panel and then drag and drop one of the instances of this component inside our frame. Okay, in this step, I'm going to play a little bit with the size of this uh, component horizontally until I get sure that the text is not going to stay inside the main frame in the beginning of the animation and of course at the end. So I'm going to make this element horizontally a bit bigger than the main frame that is going to be my prototype. Of course, the size of this element is really depending on the length of the text that we have. When I play the prototype, we will see that this animation is working smoothly. But now there is a question. What if we would like to have another banner inside the same page? There is a very simple approach to achieve that. We can have as many as banner from the same component with the different text inside it. What we need to do is we need to create a new mode for the same variable text slider. As you can see, I named the first mode first version and the second mode second version. And then I changed the value for the second mode for the same variable to whatever that I would like to have again as a second banner. Now I'm going to select the second banner that we duplicate from the first one. And then here from the layer visibility panel, click on this icon and then change the mode to the second version. Now, as you can see, the text inside this banner is going to change. I will do a little bit resizing again based on the same logic. We need to get sure that the text is out of the main frame. And then I rotate this element a bit and then move it to left and right to kind of come up with a better, more dynamic design. And now I'm going to add another banner on top. In addition, we can also control the background color of these banners uh, using the variables. The only thing we need to do is to just create a new variable, this time the color type. And for the each mode that we have inside this variable panel, set a new background color. Now there is only one step left. We need to go to the component that we made and then connect the background color in these two variants to the variables that we made. Now we have full control of the text of these banners and of course at the same time on the background color of them. 
Now let's check out the result. I hope you learned something new in this video. And if it was so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share your ideas and opinions related to the content of this channel inside the comment section. I will pin the ideas that you share with me inside the comment section, and I will work on them for the next videos. Let's learn together and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.